Okay, what's up everyone? Hopefully you're having an amazing day so far. We're out here in this pitch black ice hockey rink and we're gonna put this GH5S and Ninja Inferno through its paces. Let's see how they hold up. The camera we're shooting on right now, the GH4, is probably struggling like crazy. But this guy right here should be a totally different story, but there's really only one way to find out. Yeah. Okay, so I wanted to break down the clips just a little bit to give you some more information about what's going on because that was quite a lot of information and quite a lot of clips in a very short time. So let's just go through it a little bit. I have the editing software right here. I'm currently using Premiere Pro to edit everything that I make. So this is what we're using. This is in this is the color tab. Um, let's just look at what we have here. So starting off, we have the GH4 clip. This is what you saw in the video. This is very not nice footage, but. Uh, as you can see, this is even after I've completely, extremely blown it out. I've increased the exposure by 4.7 and if you actually remove this, you can see that it's very, very pitch black and that's... <laughs> yeah, that's straight out of the camera. Moving on, we have this first shot right here. It was uh, actually a tad bit underexposed. I wanted to have it uh, a little bit more exposed, but these lights right here in the back got very much blown out as soon they're even now they're overexposed but i had to find a good balance between not punching all of these details right here and not blowing these completely out so this is the problem when you're working with well random lighting conditions i'd say okay i have a confession to make i actually recorded with a lot applied in the atomos i always have a monitoring lot applied but i never ever well except for this time record it this basically means that while the camera was outputting log footage into the Atomos, uh, I actually had the Rec Look button turned on, which means that the Atomos will apply the LUT into the recording itself. So I didn't retain as much detail as I would have if I would have recorded a log. So that's on me. I, you probably could get better results than this, but this is what happens. Moving on, this clip was like ISO 8000 to 12800, somewhere in that range. It's Still very good quality, but as you can tell the motion blur actually gets a bit noisy, but that's nothing that anyone will realize when they watch the video. It's something you realize when you start really pixel peeping. So it doesn't really bother me at all. Moving on, this was actually a tad bit overexposed. As you can see, we've lost some detail here, but once again, this is for 10 frames, 15 frames. I don't think anyone's ever gonna notice. Moving on, these two clips, as you can tell, we pretty much lost all details in my clothing right here, but because I couldn't really start exposing it higher, as you can see everything in the background is already, the light source and everything, they're completely white, and I was already pushing the exposure to, I believe, 12,800, and I didn't really want to go higher than that. But yeah, some less detail, but not too bad in my opinion. This skating shot right here, I had actually overexposed a tiny bit, so I had to lower the exposure by 0.4, but once again, I'm quite happy with this too. It's, there's a lot of detail and very good quality considering the amount of light in that scene. Here we have pretty much the worst clip in the entire video. As you can see it's very 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 grainy. This is with noise reduction on it. So now I've removed the noise reduction as you can tell that's that's a lot worse. But this is 240 fps so the bitrate is really struggling to keep up and especially in these conditions i believe i pushed the iso all the way to 20,000, which is well this is better than the gh4's 3200 iso so i mean it's still really good well it's not good quality but it's well for you the project's definitely usable in my opinion if you do denoise but yeah not the best but i want to really push it and see what i could actually do with this light this shot is quite interesting actually, I couldn't quite get the white balance right. I don't know why, but I don't feel that this is correct and... Well, the GH5S is a huge step up compared to GH4, but it sometimes misses the white balance, so... I believe it's due to these lights in the background somehow messing with the white balance, but... It's not the end of the world and it's not off by a lot, but for some reason I couldn't quite get it corrected. And the last shot, as you can see, the light right here is completely 100% blown out and the, these blacks right here are completely 100% punched, so... Not the greatest shot, but I mean, the lighting conditions once again were so rough that not even a red camera would ha handle this condition well, so I mean... 
really handy into Panasonic here. This camera is just amazing. Thank you guys for watching. Like the video if it helped you out with your decision. If you have a GH4, I can highly recommend upgrading because this camera is just on another level. But that's it for now and I'll see you guys in the next video.